Hi everybody, it's Stampin' Just Because with Chris Cowan. Sorry, I am going to have to repeat some of my steps here because I tried to record this video earlier and um, my camera stand broke. So we are using the Hello Ladybug Punch and Stamp Set and we're going to be using um, some perfectly penciled designer series paper I'm also using a couple sheets from the T Boutique um, designer series paper. I have some Daffodil Delight um, cardstock that I die cut. Some images from the, um, let me see what, sorry, from the hand or painted labels dies. And then I did a little square to do my sentiment on using the stylish shapes dies. I also brought in our medium daisy punch and punched some of the some daisies and that coordinates with the stamp set. And then I um, also stamped a little ladybug from the stamp set. Okay, so where we were is you want a piece of designer series paper that is nine and a half by eight inches. And on the nine and a half inch side, you wanna score it at a half inch, four inches, five and a half inches and nine inches. Then you're gonna rotate it to the eight inch side and score it two and six inches. And this is where my camera gave out. So what you're going to do, and I know, I apologize, I'm using totally the wrong color paper to see this, but from these two middle score lines, you want to measure one and a half inches and mark your paper. And you're gonna do that on all four sections. And then you're going to score it. So you're going to place your, um, your ruler down and take your bone folder and score from that intersecting line to that pencil mark. And then you're gonna, like I said, repeat that on all these four sides here. And I do, like I said, I do apologize. Um, I know it's really hard to see my pockets here, but you'll get the, the drift of what I'm doing. Okay, so what you're going to do now that you have them is you're going to fold in your paper. Just like so. So you kind of got to manipulate it a little bit. And then you're going to bone fold, use your bone folder and burnish those score lines. Do this side. And then last corner. Okay, so what you're going to do then, see how it makes your little bag? What you're going to do is you're going to take and put adhesive from in these corners not to go over that score line. So I'm going to go ahead and place some adhesive down, not going over that score line all the way down. And I'm going to fold this down just like this. See how it kind of leaves you the bag? Now we got to do this side like this. I am going to have to buy a new camera stand because this one literally just broke. Okay. Sorry if I was off camera there. It's my angle. I'm trying to make this video work while I can. So there's your little bag, okay? And then what you're going to do, we're going to fold it down 
and we're going to decorate it. So we have two pieces of designer series paper that is cut at three and seven eighths by three eighths. And I'm going to go ahead and glue those down. You want one for the front and the back or just the front. It's up to you. I'm adding it just because I am using designer series paper and it does make it a tad bit thicker. And I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little border here. And it looks like I probably only need two. I wasn't sure, so I cut three. And then we'll go ahead and trim that off. Just like that. And then I had a leaf I'm punching out and I used sweet, or sorry, parakeet party. And I'm just gonna fussy cut my leaf out. On the ladybug, I also use sweet sorbet ink with the black tuxedo ink, which sweet sorbet matches that tea boutique party. Okay. So what I was going to do is have a couple flowers up at the top here. like that and then I'll have my ladybug popped up on here with my little sentiment so that's how I'm liking that right now so let's go ahead and I need to add I'm using some of the fun flowers for the center of my daisies so I'm going to go ahead and use the bigger ones And then we'll glue those down along the top. Okay, then I'm going to glue down my leaf. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals to my ladybug. And I'm also going to add a dimensional to my sentiment here. Now at this point, you can keep it like this. And if you wanted to, you could add like a little binder clip to attach this shut, you know, and just keep the binder clip on the outside edge. Or you could add ribbon. I'm gonna do kind of a little mixture of both is what I'm thinking. So I have a tiny binder clip here. Okay. And then I was thinking that I would uh, 
I'm going to use some retired ribbon only because I'm not finding my sweet sorbet ribbon. But what I was thinking of doing is opening my clip just like that and then just tying some Daffodil Delight ribbon um, and tying just a little bow or a little knot on the ends here. And I'll do one on the back as well. And then one last one, I'm going to make a little bow. And we'll add it to that black part of the, the binder clip here. Where's my adhesive? just like that. And while that's drying, then what I was going to show you guys is um, then I would keep this on the outside edge with the flat with the things covered and you could fold, keep it folded flats and put it in a box so you have your um, fold flat gift box. So that's our project for today. I'm glad you joined me. If you have any questions or if you make my project, I'd love for you to tag me on Facebook. Um, and until next time, I will see you later, my friends. Bye-bye.